Alrighty, in this video we're going to go over the reassembly of the Remington 591M rifle. In a previous video we disassembled it and took all the components apart, now we're going to go ahead and throw them back together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the barreled receiver and we're going to rest it on the grooved part of the receiver here with the trigger and the magazine release facing up. Now we're going to take the stock and we're going to orient it the same way. Now, because of the way this rifle is designed, with the magazine release having this little tab of metal here, where you push up on it here to pull the magazine out the bottom of the rifle, there's not enough room between the trigger and that lever for us to just take the stock and drop it down. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take the stock and we're going to pivot it, and we're going to drop the back half first, putting the trigger through the trigger guard, and then we're going to take our little flathead screwdriver here, and then we're going to lift up on the back of this lever here and push forward just enough that we can get this lever to clear through the magazine well. So once again, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Put the receiver on the table, the trigger and magazine well facing up. We'll go ahead and take the stock. We're gonna put the trigger through the trigger guard first. Once we have that down, we're gonna balance the rest of the rifle here. As you can see, the lever doesn't make it through the magazine well. So we're gonna go ahead and take our screwdriver here, push forward a little bit on the lever. Once that's high enough up, we're gonna push forward a little bit on the stock so we can get the entire uh, receiver to sit flush with the stock and we have the trigger and the magazine release both uh, through their respective openings. Now we're going to go ahead and take our screwdriver and tighten the one and only action screw which is located in front of the magazine well on this rifle. You don't have to tighten it too tight. You can play with that if you want for accuracy variation. Now for the bolt, there's only one way to reinstall the bolt and if you're like me you'll spend 20 minutes cussing at the rifle before you figure out the right way. There's these six locking lugs about midway down the bolt. There's three groups of two. You're going to put the bolt back into the rifle with the bolt handle at about the same angle as if you had op just opened the action. That means these two locking lugs right here are going to be on top. Now, also on the bolt here, the front part, you see this part spins. Now, the top here, that little notch is the firing pin. Inside there, the firing pin's recessed, and you can see the line going down the top of this little spinning half of the receiver, uh, bolt. When you put the bolt back into the rifle, the firing pin needs to be directly vertically on top along with these two locking lugs. If you do that, you'll be able to drop the bolt right in. So I'll go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. I'm going to spin the rifle around, rest it on the edge of the table there. Once again, we're going to set the bolt here. I've got the two locking lugs on top. We're going to spin this front part here till the firing pin is right on top of the rifle. We're going to drop it straight down there. Once it gets to where it stops, you're going to push forward on the little safety here, and then you're going to be able to drop the rest of the bolt right into the rifle. Go ahead and put the magazine in. Test our safety. And that is the reassembly of the Remington 591M rifle.